I'm just concerned that as a, a country that has, uh, in terms of uh, uh, popular music, has been a world beater, you know, we've, we've sent our best out there. We're, we're kind of like destroying the seedbed by losing our small venues. You know, you, you've got to look at who's the biggest artist um, out the UK in the last couple of years, Ed Sheeran. It's just a bloke playing an acoustic guitar. Now, how many kids sitting at home looking at Ed thinking, I could do that? But Ed didn't just rock up at the O2. You know, he spent a long time, a few years, playing hundreds of gigs a year, everywhere. Going around, traveling, playing, often for nothing. Doing his apprenticeship to get there. And that's, you know, that's really how it works. No one comes and knocks on your door and says, son, you want to do this? Particularly, you know, unprepossessing blokes like me and uh, Ed, you know, no one's going to spot us in a crowd and say, oh, you look like you're going to be a pop star. You know what I'm saying? Well, look, firstly, it's a fantastic turnout here today. Artists, the music industry, MPs together to say we need to sp save small music venues. You know, because what's been going on in the last decade or so is these big developers have been coming in. They've been investing in new properties. A lot of them are yuppie apartments. Of course, they go to cool places that have got live music venues. They stick them up and then the residents complain about the noise and they have to close down. And we're saying that's not right. If you're going to invest in an area, you've got to protect the cultural assets already in that area. And we should put the responsibility on developers to soundproof those buildings. But it needs a law change to oblige them to do that. There's a thing called the agent of change that's happening. There's an MP called John Speller, who's a veteran parliamentarian who's moving a private member's bill. And this is kicking off the campaign to campaign for all MPs from all parties to support his private members bill. Because you know, you know, Britain is still leads the world in our music industry. We've got global artists here today. We've seen Nick Mason here from Pink Floyd, you know, we've got some Billy Bragg and Sandy Shaw here. Um, but the problem is if they if we if the, our emerging artists don't have venues to learn their trade and learn their arts then we're not going to continue that. And so small venues are the lifeblood of that, and we've got to save them. I think everyone here would agree that it's a much tougher environment for young musicians now than it was in our day. And although uh, it's all very well saying, um, oh, well, you know, there's uh, the World Wide Web and you can put things on Facebook and all the rest of it, that doesn't actually make a living for you. And so it's really important to retain anything that might actually allow people to... Uh, not only develop their, cra their craft, but um, make a, a, actually earn some money from it, rather than being semi-pro all their lives. The only way we get people in there to do what we want is by speaking out. Um, and so if it is like signing a petition, sign the petition, it's going to take 30 seconds at most. But you have to voice these things. If you love them, you have to speak out for them. Because if you don't, they are, they are, and they are already disappearing. But even more are going to go as well. So, yeah. I think it would be very successful. Obviously, it's a, it's a, a uh, it's not a government bill. It's a backbenchers bill. But it's getting a lot of support, and it's getting this importantly. It's getting this issue uh, on the agenda. Getting people talking about this issue. Because we're here in London, and there's lots of great venues in London that have been lost. But if you live in some, uh, you know, little market town out in Huntingdonshire or something like that and you've just got that one venue and it goes because someone wants to build a block of flats you know what do you what do you do that's your you know it's cut your feet away from under you so that's the real crucial aspect of it you know everybody having the ability to find somewhere where they can get up and play there are lots of ways to get involved with your campaign writing to your local MP um, talking about your support on social media all the obvious stuff like that but probably most importantly just go to some gigs patronize these places you know they need it and you'll have a good time.